I stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars. Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of ten short years will feel <coughs> like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very <coughs> own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed <coughs> full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Uh, that's how you get things to work. Just keep pressing the button and it eventually works for you. I didn't want it though. Guys wanted. <sighs> Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever. Just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Oh. Um. Okay, these are my attributes. So, strength affects melee weapons and how much. It By the way, hello, people. This is I Like Schmitty, and I do like myself. Yes, I do. Mmm! Good! Uh, we're playing Outer Worlds. <laughs> outer Worlds. The Outer Worlds. When I tried to type in Outer Worlds on the stream stuff, uh, it was like, this game doesn't exist, so I had to put the in there. Which is great. I love putting the word the. Sincerity affects melee attacks breach and wanged weapons reload speed. Alright, let's make that good. Fine. Affects critical hit bonuses. Yeah. They make me high on that. Perception affects headshots and weapon spot damage bonuses. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna be a gun person, you know, so I'm actually gonna lower this reload speed thing. And then charm affects reputations and companions abilities. Alright, temptation. Or temperament. <laughs> Proves your natural health regain. Or, I don't really care if anyone likes me. I think I'm going to actually play this. Some people are rough oh. around the edges. You're serrated. Oh, interesting. I can lower things. I want to lower the amount you can carry. I don't want to be weak. I don't want to be a little, little bitch boy. But, uh, um, oh, I'm having a hard time with this one. Yeah, let's do reload speed. Okay, I know I took that off earlier, but you know, I'm keeping it. Go to the next thing. All right. Um, I have two available points. Uh, I assume I'm going to put it into range I weapons. I in need of more game hunters. I don't, I don't know what that meant at all, um, but okay. And yeah, let's do tech. Your skills would have been wasted in a corporate lab. Skills would have been wasted, asshole. All right, next. Attitude. Uh, what does this do? Okay. Gives me plus for all sorts of things. I'm literally just gonna look at what the pluses are and then I'll do the descriptions after that. N ray damage received. I don't know what N rays are, but I, I hope they're I hope they're enjoyable. I hope they're like a like a fruit snack or something. Something something tasty. N rays? Them? Don't sound like that though. Alright. Food effects. 
Curse of Damage Receive. Inspiration. Medical. Plasma Damage Receive. Science. Yeah, I'll probably do the science one. You cleaned out enough test tubes to develop a keen instinct on what goes in them and why. <laughs> Wait! I was an assistant? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I left Earth for this? <clears throat> oh, uh, Freddy. Huh. We all start somewhere, I suppose. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, you, you know what? You had to press the button a million times to get it. Uh, female. Do I want to be a female? Mm, I mean, no, I think I'll be a male. I'll be myself. Um. Oh, God. Uh, um, sure. That face. Eye color. Look through it. We find one that's decent. All right, uh, looks like we came out of. Um. Yeah, those ones. Those ones sound good. Mouth size and stuff. Uh, let's go with hair. Okay, hairstyle. I'm going to get like a hairstyle similar to my own, which is long, if anyone doesn't know. My hair is very long. The long hairstyles look a little, uh, a little, little girly? Um, might, might do that one. <laughs> yeah, let's do that first. Let's do... Facial hair and see if that helps that look less. Oh, that's facial hair colors. Whoops. Hey, okay. not a huge options on beard. Why do beards never have enough options? All right, dude. I don't think I'm gonna go with your long hair look because I wasn't loving it. Let's be, yeah, let's be a douche. Pick your hair color. Be that guy that has a st stupid silver hair color. Your beard, same color. All right. You know, it really don't love one thing so far. Don't love that the background for my customization stuff is uh is black. Like I can't see this very well. Make it pure white. Something easier to see the background on. I mean, don't get me wrong, people. Very excited for the game. Actually, I'm static for the game. I don't need makeup. I don't know why I'm looking at the makeup options. Dirt. I mean, I don't want to be a dirty person. Who wants to be dirty? Let's not be dirty. Scars? No, I was a scientist assistant. I don't feel like I got any scars, except for maybe this guy insulting me right now. Alright, I'm kind of old there. I, you know, let's just make me about that age. Alright, next. What's your name? Uh, obviously, it's Schmitty. Uh, come on. What's your name? Schmitty. All right. Nope, not not any. Just I just want to go to the next. Enter next. All right. Yeah. What? What? Yeah. Um. Next. Give me out. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. God, I hope so. Please power down your engines and prepare to be not likely bootlickers. <laughs> 
Oh. Initiate skip jump. Right now, you just. You know what? You're, you're the scientist. You know, I'll let you uh, <laughs> judge me for being an assistant, but whatever. You know when you can jump and not die in the process. Status structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down. <sighs> ah, shit. Ah, told you. I was the assistant of the scientist. Not a very good scientist. Ah, hey. There you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board right. has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship <clears throat> is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Can you... Can you get me out of here? Why... Why'd you close the door? Just... Let me walk to where the smuggler is, you know? God. Been asleep for 70 years and this is the first thing I do is stay in the same box I've been in. Rescue all the other colonists. Is this thing working? Yeah. Ah, it whoa. There you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. Did you just. I'm all the colonists. Oh, did you just launch me down to the planet? You... I thought I was on an elevator. Which it wasn't a very big ship, so I don't know why I thought it was on an elevator. Oh, well, this landing went fantastic. Okay. I was gonna be like, crap. Oh, woke up to be stuck in here to die. Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting <laughs> his ship go to waste. Uh, um... Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trust yeah. the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. I don't know, I mean... Probably didn't really feel it. He probably was like... Almost instantly died. Oh, I'm so excited! Oh, gravity less here? I can't tell. I'm, how would I know if the gravity was less from anywhere else? Only been here so far. Um, crap, I did not get that scientist's name. Ah, uh, science man. Um, are these things hostile? They don't look hostile. Right. Enemies. Are there, oh my god, are there enemies nearby? 
Is that rock thing really a monster? Oh god. Oh shit! Oh shit! Let's get out of here! Let's get out of here! You see now, you've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. What the shit was that? What unforeseen side effects was that just now? Smitty. Schmitty. Sorry, didn't say that very clearly. Um uh, yeah, I'm just gonna come talk to you. Hey, you come you've tried the best now. <sighs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, law, that stinks. Uh yeah, said so. Huh. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Well, Hope you I don't mean... mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Yeah, Spacer's what? Oh, we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my sight. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just barely scraped by with my life. So, this is where this guy I've become friends with. Canisters. Shot himself. Spacer's choice policy clearly stipulates that dead and as good as dead are two completely different properties of matter. Unless I'm dead, I'm contractually obligated to attend to my post. I will report that illegally grounded spacecraft if it is the last thing I do. See those canisters by the entrance? Ooh. Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? You'd better take my gun, then. Uh, careful. It's worth more to the company than I am. Here, you can have God. my saber, too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed at that time. Tried the best, now try the rest. Does that mean... Does that mean the Spacer's choice is not the best? Alright, I, I'm off. Alright. <clears throat> Dealt with that loose end. <sighs> Can't believe I healed that guy up. Spacer choice stuff decreased. Why is that decreased? <clears throat> All right. Um, do you have any other stuff here, dude? Let's open up my inventory. Okay, yeah. All right. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so that's three. That's four. Any other modifications? Nope. Nope. And I'll throw on the helmet. <clears throat> okay. Woo! Dealt with that issue. All right, um... Well, damn it. Yes. Oh, I also switch weapons because I saw that he said I gave me a saber. Okay, there we go. I click two. Go back. Oop, oops. One. Damn it, my ears! Oh, what a 
just happened? Can you hear me? Uh, what in the this I'm coming out of the cave. Hang on. And I definitely... I just found some free weapons. There is nothing connected. Jesus. Electrical timing delay. Due to... Complication stemmings from being revived after hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the tactical timing TTD button will slow down the world. Okay, let's Q. Okay, yep, it's Q. Ow! Back off, dude! Back! Back the fuck off! Ooh. Okay, let's heal up a bit. Oh! Oh, that was interesting. What's my one new inventory thing? Basis choice. <laughs> Heavy velocity shots, like heavy weapons, mostly long range. Energy weapons, yeah, for energy based weapons. Journal. Fine. Hawthorne's ship. Oh! Oh, was he talking about the other guy's ship? The guy that I smushed or might. Well, either way, he was a liability. Alright, let's see. Pick up the booze. Pick up whatever that is. Cheese, sure. This, yep, bananas, hacking and picking stuff, and then mag picks break, are used to break open locks, body pack shunts break into computers, if you're high enough skills break security, you will see how many mag picks or shunts you need and how long it will take. Okay. Wait. Telescoping staff. Oh, it's a two handed melee weapon. That's kind of cool. Looks cool, too. Yeah. Okay, let's look at this 54 damage. It is two handed. Special effect knockdown. What is this one? Special effect bleeding. One damage. 73 damage. Oh. Oh, the saber's way better. Wow. Maybe, maybe Spacer's Choice is the best. Hmm. Well, I mean, my reputation with them is already not great, so... There's that. Alright, there's two of you. Are there stealth kills? Can I stealth kill you? Oh, come on. Nope. Ow. Whew. Okay. Whew. Uh, geez, gotta be more, a little more cautious. Space is choice. Hey, space is choice. Try the best now. Try the the rest. I don't get that motto. This doesn't sound like they're a good choice. Uh, and you know what? That kid kind of deserved it after he made that comment. Good is dead and actually dead are two different things. Um, I was kind of done with him. He's like, you know, I was like, you know what? You're right. You're dead. As good as dead. Oh, uh Hey! Get over here before you get yourself killed. Yes, sir. Let me um hang, hang on, let me uh put away my weapon. Hey there! Reporting for duty, ma'am! Done 
don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Yes, I, I, I took care of one of those landing violators. Official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. It's just a landing violation. Let's go. So, uh, I've heard. I found one of your teammates held up in a cave. Already dealt with the marauders. Yep, I'm gonna say that. I'm not gonna even bring up the guy in the cave. I, I mean, yeah, of course. Marauders. Bunch of addle brain derelicts. I could round them up all by myself. All right. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Okay. Um. Do space restore guards back down from a challenge? Oh, God, don't do that. Um. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. Alright, let's do it! Oh, oh, they're helping me. Alright, let's do it! Sec. I gotta change my mouse sensitivity. Controls. Mouse sensitivity. Let's turn that down like a few percents. Alright. I like that better. Still a little high, in my opinion. Woo! You guys see that? Took those guys down. I did a bunch of uh, uh, dingoes. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you guys know what dingoes are. They're from Earth. They're, uh. I don't know, they eat babies. I think they're like a dog. Yeah, okay. Wait a second. Is this our ship? God, I hope not. Uh, hey, uh, what's up? This is gonna take a lot of paperwork. Okay. Oh, is this, is this the ship? Oh, I'll check out the inside and uh, uh, keep it posted. Hello, oh, congratulations. You gain experience. Open up your character ledger to advance your character. Living up skills increases your health points. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, okay. contains no valuable plunder. Did the ship just tell me it has no valuable crap? Marauder. Please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Smile for my surveillance device, Marauder. I am tracking your every move. I thought she was going to take my picture. Um, you said there was no valuable stuff, though. So you technically... I may be a Marauder, but you're a liar. All doors are on security lockdown. Nice try, Marauder. All right. I mean, you know, I'm gonna go up to the computer here. Unauthorized or... access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. I nice meet you, Ada. That I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Anyone uh, ever tell you you're a bitch? What are you going to do, self-destruct? Not here to misappropriate anything? Yeah, what are you going to do? Oh, God! Oh, no! No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, you guys are on the ground. Something's supposed to be happening. Yeah. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. Ha <laughs> ha! Knew it. Knew the whole time. Ooh, didn't panic at all. 
Uh, I need to get this ship in the air. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Uh, good news about that. He's dead. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. Uh, you're welcome. To take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Sure. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. <laughs> Sure. I think your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our oh, agents... Yeah. I hope I'm not hanging out with you all game because you're kind of a bitch. Our suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Where am I supposed to find something like that? The settlement of Edgewater is located nearby. I recommend speaking to the administrator of Edgewater and requesting assistance. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. Oh, well, now I'm Hawthorne. You, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? The name of the ship is the Unreliable. Oh, I got a shitty ship. Best of luck in your search. <laughs> She's kind of mean. Later. Try to stay alive this time. All right, I'll see. I'll I'll see you later, Ada. Also, did you unlock all the doors now that I'm now, you know, the captain? You know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get going. I'll check out the ship later. Um, this is, this is my ship now. You, you can leave. Um. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. I'm a killer. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Hey, take care. Trespassing, lockpicking, hacking, and murdering are all consistent crimes and are frowned upon by society. Avoid being seen if you want to engage in those activities. <clears throat> what you get for not wearing a helmet? There's one thing Gears of War taught me. Where actually no, it did. It taught me actually. Uh, people who wear helmets in those games uh, often died. So uh, never mind. For parts. Yeah. I'm kind of wanting to just avoid get these guys all together. So let me go over the hill here. Buy them. Woo! Going to town. Never saw any uh, space space cadets or space filters. Oh, revolver. Boss ball block. I don't need a toy. Let's go to my inventory though. Look at the revolver. 94 damage, 100 damage. Damn it! Weed. Back knockback. Hair. 
There. Okay. So the pistol has a, a bigger revolver. Oh wait, but the damage from the handgun is bigger. Oh wait, did I look at these things wrong? No, I don't want to compare these two. So this is better in a way. Okay. We don't need to compare anymore. I don't need to compare. I don't need to do that. I got stop comparing things. Don't want to compare anymore. Stop it. Yeah, yeah, I think I want to do the revolver. You know, don't want to be rocking too much of these space cadet gears. I actually should try to find some other stuff here in a bit. Uh, let's go to armor. Am I carrying anything else? Damn it. I'm really wearing better armor. Now I look like I'm a captain or something. Or I actually oof, didn't remember what her rank was. Sarge, I did either way. I did meet her. I found her dead next to the ship, which is my ship. Oh, nope. Didn't find her dead next to my ship. I, She was dying. Brought her back to my ship, tried to revive her, but before we got in there, she died, so I just left her outside. And then looted her butt. Mm -hmm. Yep, seems like a reasonable... They come on the road. I just realized there's like straight up a freaking cemetery on the complete outside of the town. Um. Whoa, hey, where'd you come from? Don't go ambling out in those hills. Ow. That's my outside. territory, friend. Ah, my pod crashed in the hills. How do you know I'm not a marauder? Nope. Mm, my pod Your crashed. Pod? What are you on about? You take a bruise to the cranium? Ain't safe out here. Yes, my pod is my um. Into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high falling. and low, low prices. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm Alexander Hawthorne, captain of the Unreliable. Your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your what I meant by pod. Hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Oh, great. Okay, I'm just gonna... Who do I talk to about a power Definitely regulator? Definitely not the Junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business... Obviously, with Chris, very bodies. Stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Uh, yeah. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Sure, yeah, dues are expensive, stuff like that. Uh, you want me to collect what's owed to you? I can do that. You are making people pay for their own graves. Why can't you collect these fees yourself? Let me ask you something. I'm not sure. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Yeah. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Why is he a special case? He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Where can I find these people? Conrad's got a barber shop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. I'll be back. Alright. Time to discover all these people. So you're one of my things. Okay, yeah. Uh, hello, Captain. Captain Hawthorne. 
I really shouldn't announce that too much. These people might know Hawthorne. Ah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know Hawthorne either. He's kind of a dumbass. I'd avoid him at all costs. Low Edgewater. God, I'm so excited about this game. I'm looking forward to it. Yes, this is me stretching for joy. Not because I need a stretch or anything. I mean, I do. I, I need a stretch. Okay. So, let's start. You know, I know I need to go and fix Ada, but, you know, she kind of started off as a bitch. So, I'm going to have her sit and wait for a bit. There's something outside the walls today. Nothing for us outside those walls. Shit. You ought to know that. Is there a map? There is a map. Okay, so this first marker that I see here, is that on this? Julius! It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. And before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna, all I've got is gourmet. I have some questions. Go right ahead. talk to right now. Yep. Journal. There we go. I want to activate this map. Okay. Sorry. So that... Ugh, okay. I don't love that. Another day at the cannery. So he's out there. A bunch of these guys are this way. Is this the cannery? Is this the... Hello there! Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. <sighs> no, thank you. That's quite all right. I've seen enough body parts in my line of work. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me what? in the event of your death. Whereupon, I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Silas sent me to ah, collect your dues. Recite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. You mean you're broke? As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Oh, is that an option? If that's an option, I would just choose that. Don't pay. Um, I don't care. Pay up. With what? My own blood? Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Hey, well, yeah, hang on. Medical rights? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Just, yeah, just give me an idea. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No. I, I thought you were a doctor. I'm so Your confused. Your intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. I'll let you know if I think of anything. Much obliged. Oh, 
Um, Alright, that was weird. Alright, let's go to the next guys. Hopefully they got money and... Oh, I don't even have to give it back to Silas. Screw Silas. I don't pay death grave fees. Who would? Just let them throw your body in a ditch when you're done. Yes, Mr. Thompson. Hello there, Martin. Well, uh, did, uh... Did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post. Tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring ch chicken. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, um... Uh... You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? Uh, yeah, I'm just here to collect your grave fees, and it's clear you're going to use them pretty That's soon. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Yeah, you're sick. Sounds like he's already told you. You may as well hear it from me. I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching. Oh, go and see the doctor and pay him. Ushered through the great cannery in the skies. It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave, and now he wants to charge me for the other one. Hey, <laughs> pay me so I can get I'll out of here. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see a way to freelancing for me, I could really use the help. Oh, uh, yeah, what do you need help with? The cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Not so fast, I got some again. What's in it for me? I tried medicating myself with Adrena time. Didn't do much for me, as far as I can tell. Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin of health. Company policy. My god. My sucks. <laughs> In other words, they won't treat you if you're sick. More like the company won't treat me because I'm not healthy enough. I assume there's guards. You will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders, on the other hand. Can you tell me about the marauders. I have it on good authority. There's a gang of them squatting there. I advise stepping softly. Okay. I've heard enough. So you'll do it then? Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll do it. Why can I no longer equip? You oblige me with your haste. Oh! I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen. No, 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 I wanna... Um... Why can I no longer actually click well, on I them? I know that, but I got nobody... Reed would have wrote me up. Leave you be. Now let me... You wanna mingle, go try the can... No, I, I want the job. Ugh, damn it. Why can't... Why is this suddenly working differently now? No, I want the job. I want the job. Ugh. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. I don't even know who Abernathy is. Who are you? Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. What do you need it for? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Let me know. All right. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape. So I'm reaching out to you. 
Abernathy is paying me for the trouble. Can you match his offer? I'm paid better than Abernathy. Whatever he's giving you, I will do you one better. Deal. We'll take it. That's all I can ask of you. Sweet. I need to finish up with these other people first, though, and get the money. So I can go buy myself a gun. A long-range one. Then I can go deal with the marauders. Yes, yeah, so let's go to my tab real quick. Skill improvements. Yeah. Heck, why is there... What? Why? What happened here? I don't. Tab. Well, that's not broken or anything at the moment. Okay, let's just. Oh my god, wherever this stupid little hand is coming from, I don't want it. What are perks? Okay. Here. Oh, the world. Lone Wolf. Oh god! I didn't even click on the right thing. What is this? Damn it! <laughs> um, okay. Okay. Why is this freaking out on me? <clears throat> You know what? Yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play with the controller because some reason the mouse and keyboard is freaking out. At least for this piece. Yeah. Ten points available. A little confused on how the skill points work. Not. Oh no. Oh no no. Right. Let's do that twice. Yep. Range weapons. Let's do. Oof. Yeah, I'm loving getting through these dialogues. So let's spend a lot of points in there. Stealth. Yeah, let's spend a bit in there. And a couple of medicine. Alright. Fly. Accept. Yeah, honestly, I like the feel of the controller better for a game like this. Um. Is this guy that I'm looking for? Oh, the Cantry. Some guy works here. Pantry was a bar. This doesn't look like a bar. This looks like a place where they make inappropriate sexual advances towards me. Oh, whoops. My bad. Do I cycle through weapons on the. I still use this to cycle through my weapons? I guess I could. Oh, that's how I cycle through weapons. Oh, that's easy. Hey! You the new worker? Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. 
Come here to collect your fees. Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. These papers aren't signed in your name. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. That's kind of you, I guess. If you're not familiar with board law, you ought to be. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Oh, shit. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. He said he got... He, this guy shot himself. Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his way. I say hello! Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. Yeah, I'm starting to get that they're not the best, you know. It's starting to get a little obvious. Between you and me, I'm pretty... Uh, yeah, I'll let you leave. I'll thank, thanks for the payment. Alright. A few more people I gotta deal with. I feel like the other guy's off that way, and then there's... I haven't figured out anything to do with that doctor. It's kind of my quest? Who am I still dealing with? Look from Lugwig? Okay, who am I going to right now? Who's on my map? Oh, I need to go to the guy on the docks. Okay. God, this place is weird. Why is anyone paying a grave thing? Just get buried in the ditch. Or get thrown in the ditch. I don't care. <sighs> Maybe I can get that doctor to pay. Oh, he's a barber. And a doctor. That is odd. All right. Ah, Lugwid. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. Mm. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. Yeah, I'm not here for that, dude. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. Whoa, whoa. What are you battling on about? The war. The coming apocalypse. Man versus machine. Oh. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Uh, got it. Yeah, watch out for those mechanicals. That's, right. That's what I've been saying. We gotta square our shoulders. I just told him he's gonna be an issue. Auto-mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant. Clattering about. Firing at the birds. Orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? Yeah, me and a gun, I'm fired. I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. Saw tuna cans, mostly. Some spaces chaw. A few bit cards. I'll reward you for your aid. 
Upper Army's playing enlistment fees. Enlistment fees. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> yes. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. All right. What do you need done? They have sent a scout prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. This scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. Sounds good. All right. Go deal with the doctor. Turn in the grave fees. Then I need to go... I need to go buy a rifle. Need a rifle. Oh, well, that's a... A pretty drawing of a hopefully imaginary creature. What the hell? Suddenly I have my gun out. There's something outside the walls today. Hey, Barber. What can I do for you? Go ahead. The plagues come at us with a vengeance this year. Lost six workers in as many months. I wouldn't call them good workers, mind you. If they were any good, they'd have been treated. Still, it is a shame. What are the symptoms? Fever, chills, fatigue, aching, vomiting, an excess of phlegm, a tendency towards belly aching. Why don't you treat all the workers? Company policy, friend. We don't have enough medicine to treat all of us, so we treat the best among us. Whose idea was that? Mr. Thompson's brainchild. Have you met him yet? Thoughtful looking fellow, stares out of his office most hours. Edgewater has been good to me. I consider myself privileged to work here. I am never wanting for work. Not since the plague started. Then, then where's the money? Turn in the goddamn money! Oh, I hate that it keeps pulling out my gun every time I go through a door. Hey, um... Oh, there you are. Hey, 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 could you stop? Grave digging's a fine profession. Always work to be had, and nary a word of complaint out of your clients. Uh, hey, about those fees. You run into any trouble? Conrad said he can't Conrad's afford it. Conrad's barbershop is a yawning pit that swallows his every bit. I keep telling him he should cut a few corners, skimp out on the disinfectant. You gotta put the squeeze on Conrad. Find some dirt on him. Maybe check his back room. Sounds good. <laughs> I love how I have no issues. I used to be, uh, 70 years ago, I was a science assistant. Oh my god, the guy I worked for was dead. Not Josephine. I don't know why his name was Josephine. It sounds. Anyways. Um, and now I'm just like on this new planet. Literally. Quick to, uh... Conrad, he shot himself. This is bad. Somebody's gonna have to call it for what it is. Objective choice property. Assistant and somebody has to pay his body price. This is gonna ruin us. So I was thinking we could pawn it off. Off his teeth, Eugene. Teeth. Apparently. 
processing his body right just dig around and pry them out we'll sell the teeth somewhere nice and quiet bit of pay there's price what do you think don't write back in fact don't talk to me at all just give me a sign next time you see me waggle your eyebrows oh hey i'm glad you let me literally just walk back here thought it was a little weird uh but what can i do for you would you like to talk to me about the teeth you know about eugene How? hey well i walked back there and i saw the note None of your business. You probably heard it from one of our local gossip mongers. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. They're probably worth a few bits. More than a few. Those teeth were his personal savings. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills? Can I? Gonna have to. Yes, I suppose I must. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Alright. Eugene was not a suicide. He put a bullet in his brain, yes, but that's largely a technicality. I was the one who prepared Eugene's body for interment. I discovered symptoms of the plague on his corpse, and I discovered medicine in his pocket. Lots of medicine. Eugene overdosed on Adrena time, which is known to cause psychosis and paranoia as possible side effects. The paranoia drove him to take his own life. Oh, I thought he just really hate being a receptionist. Yeah. We can all thank our lucky stars that young Eugene was hopped up on medication and suffered its predictable side effect. I included it all in my official... Alright, I'm gonna leave. You guys are awful here. This is a shitty town. I already hate that this guy unfroze me. I would have much rather just stay in the freezing thing. I can see it all out of me. Okay. Oh my god, I died. Silas! Hey, Silas. Listen. Something I can do for you? Yes. What are you talking about, you Yeah? What about him? First, I know you buried him. Mm, she mentioned digging up for its whole Yeah. Funny thing. Eugene's body ain't where it's supposed to be. The night we were supposed to commend his body to the earth, I had his grave all dug up and ready, right? And so I thought... I'll just rest my eyes a bit. When I woke up, his body was gone. <laughs> spirited away. Vanished. The footprints nearby suggested that Eugene was stolen by marauders. Or he rose from the dead. Guess I'll keep an eye out for them. Let me know if you find anything. Something I can do for you? I don't think so. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, people. That's about where I gotta leave it for here. I gotta get ready for work. Um, but I will be playing more tomorrow. Actually, I'll play a lot more tomorrow. And I will also be starting... My Halloween stream, so join those. I'm gonna be playing uh, spooky games, and uh, I'm gonna hate it probably because I hate I hate scary games. All right, saving. But I'll see you all later. Bye.